trailing by a goal to nil, the West Coast Giants mounted a spirited fight back. Desperate for an equalizer, the Satyabar boys constantly launched the ball into the opponent's box, but were repelled back any time they came forward by the Serekuna defense, who defended with all their lives and held on to win their first Super Navitan final. After several failed attempts in past years, Serekuna West finally landed the trophy that has eluded them. Despite coming very close on several occasions, and these celebrations explain their joy. I think this has been long over you. Um, as you can see, the happiness in the, um, the, the, the crowd, I think this is a community thing. Uh, you can see that when football is given back to the community, community then we have it organized in the best way. As we all witnessed Sarakuna West in the past two years, we've been one of the most um, organized zones. We've been one of the most um, developmental zones in, with regards to infrastructure. Now you can see that um, uh, the Almighty Allah has finally paid the hard work we are doing. We are saying thanks to the Almighty for the hard work, thanks to everybody from support number one to the chairman and the president of the zone, that is um, uh, Mr. Sandong. We are saying bravo to everybody. As 2013 Super Navitan champion, Serikuna West received a check for $50,000 and the giant trophy sponsored by Skybank. From the Independent Stadium, it finished Serikuna West 1, Brikama 0, and Serikuna West are the 2013 champions of the Skybank sponsored Super Navitan. Momodes Jalo, Theater Sports at the Independent Stadium. Well, uh, congratulations to Sarah and West there on their victory. And uh, before we end this edition of the news, a recap of our top stories. Government has terminated petroleum exploration, development and production license granted to partners African Petroleum Gambia Limited and Buried Hill Gambia BV and Oranto Petroleum Limited. Legislators have hit the road to assess ongoing government road transport infrastructure projects located on the southern bank of the river, river Gambia. The Tourism and Culture Ministry has teamed up with ECOWAS to build a critical mass of stakeholders armed with the requisite skills to ensure full implementation of the Gambia's copyright law. At least 11 people have been killed and tens of thousands forced to remain indoors in the northeast of the United States as temperatures slump to minus 40 centigrade. And the National Syrian Council has ruled out its participation in the second round of peace talks slated for January 22nd, dubbed Geneva too. That was all in this edition of the news. Thanks for your time and do enjoy our range of interesting programs. Until then, it's the good night from me and I am Fatih Janimbay.
Gambia will you put it what? Masha 